All right, welcome back to SoCal Flying Monkey. I just took off from Santa Paula Airport where the plane was in the shop and I had a very small uh, modification done to the wiring uh, of my audio panel. And um, right now I'm flying along, I've got my True Track autopilot engaged and I'm just gonna press this control wheel steering button here one time to disengage the autopilot. Check out what happens. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing, I love it. I've got my very own R2 unit in the back here to help me fly the airplane. Coming up in this video, I'm gonna show you how this is all possible, so stick around. I'm Eric, a private pilot based in Los Angeles. Join me and my family on our aviation adventures throughout Southern California and beyond. What's up everybody? We've got a lot of cool adventure videos and a lot of fun ideas that we're working on coming up on the channel, so subscribe to get in the loop on those. For now, it's time to get excited about audio panels. That's right, I know you're gonna be replacing that beat up old audio panel eventually, even if it's not at the top of your priority list. I did a ton of research. When it was time to put an audio panel into my Cherokee 6, I chose the PS Engineering PMA 450B audio panel. Today, I'm gonna to show you the ins and outs of the audio panel and the reason why it was the only audio panel that I would install in this airplane. As usual, we'll check it out in use and in flight. Let's go flying. Okay, full disclosure, I bought the PS Engineering PMA 450A audio panel when I was renovating this Cherokee a couple years ago. I've been really enjoying it ever since. In making this video, I reached out to PS Engineering to see if they could loan me a PMA 450B because the 450A is discontinued and the B version has a couple extra features that I thought everyone would be interested in. So I've got this audio panel on loan from them, but don't worry, I'm going to be totally impartial and super critical of all the little things that I don't like about it. So stay tuned to the end for my uh, final pros and cons of this audio panel. All right, let's jump in and take a look at the audio panel. So first we have this uh, knob here which controls the intercom volume. The radio volume is controlled at the radios themselves, and this knob controls the intercom. The outer knob here, the small one, controls the intercom volume for the pilot and the co-pilot. And the innermost knob controls the intercom volume for the passengers. We've got a series of buttons over here. This button activates the audio for the marker beacon. These are the receive buttons, these four buttons right here, COM1, COM2, NAV1, and NAV2 receive. These two buttons are transmit, COM1, and COM2. This audio panel will ensure that you're always receiving audio from the COM that you're transmitting on. Another button here is the ICS button, and it controls the intercom mode. I'll get more into that in flight. On this side, we have a nice screen uh, that you can see the menus as you move through them. And these are the line select keys here. We've got three of them, and they correspond to each of the three lines of the menus. To drill down into the menus, you can press the line select key, and then press the line select key here, like for an example, more, more, and you can go through. To go back to the main menu, just push and hold the line select key, and that goes back in the menu. The audio panel also has a USB-C port here, which is for charging devices. After startup, we want to listen to the ATIS and monitor ground at the same time, and the PMA 450B has a couple really cool ways of listening to two frequencies at the same time. The first one is called Intella Audio, and this is a feature that maps the audio from each comm spatially into your headset. In order for this feature to work, you have to have a stereo headset, and some of the headsets may require you to flip a little switch on the inside over to stereo. I tried like five different ways to record stereo audio uh, output out of these headphone jacks in this airplane, but I wasn't able to do it. But the PS Engineering website has a really cool simulator. I'm going to demonstrate the Intella audio feature on there now. So if you have a set of headphones at home, you can plug them into your computer or mobile device. If you have some stereo headphones, have a listen, and you should be able to hear the spatial audio. Okay, here we are in the Intella audio simulator, and right now Intella audio is off. We're listening to two comms, and you have a hard time distinguishing each one from the other, and they're kind of meshed together. Have a listen. Seven. Okay, then when I turn Intella Audio on, you're going to be able to distinguish these two frequencies a lot better. You can easily change the perceived position of each comm in the setup menu. 
I don't know how they make it sound like the audio is coming from different points in space, but it is way better than just left-right stereo. It's actually really incredible, and I find it way easier to pick out the frequencies. In the Intelli Audio menu, you can set Intelli Audio to be on all the time, in which case it will always map COM1 to the position you have specified. Or you can set it to auto, in which case it'll take COM1 and put it in both your ears. But when you activate COM2 and have a reception coming in, then it'll switch COM1 to the position that you've chosen and COM2 to the position that you've chosen. Now, for some reason you don't like Intelli Audio, there's another way to monitor two comms at the same time. It's called the monitor function. And similar to other audio panels where you come in this menu here and you turn on monitor on. And this will, if you have two comms enabled, you're listening to a, the second comm. When you receive a transmission from the first comm, it'll mute the second comm. So it makes it easy if you're getting the ATIS in the air talking to ATC and ATC comes on with a transmission, it'll mute that ATIS. A couple other quick features before we take off. This audio panel supports a couple other switched inputs, which means that you can have other devices uh, coming in, like a DME. And in my case, I've got the Avidyne IFT540, and it sends the standby frequency out. So if I come into radio here, I've relabeled that input standby, and I can toggle that on, and I can actually monitor the standby frequency of my IFT540. One other way to work with two comp frequencies at the same time is the split mode. If you hold these two buttons down here, go into split mode, the pilot will be receiving and transmitting on COM1, and the co-pilot will be receiving and transmitting on COM2 independently and simultaneously. The pilot can be talking to ground, the co-pilot can be talking to the FBO. So this audio panel has Bluetooth capabilities. It actually has two Bluetooth inputs. You can have two separate Bluetooth connections going in at the same time, or you can use one as an output to record on a device, or like a certain action cameras have the ability to record Bluetooth audio. So you can record one, and then you can send audio in on one Bluetooth, which is super cool. You can also connect your phone for phone calls. We're getting a call right now, and the caller ID actually displays uh, on the panel right here. It's pretty cool. Hello. Hey, where hey. you be? How's it going? Hey, I'm just um, flying and doing like a little review of this audio panel. What are you guys doing? Well, that sounds way better than what we're doing. Can we come join you? Oh, yeah. Come on. Come aboard. Awesome. See you in a second. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh. Hey. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hi. Hey. What's up? Uh, where do you guys want to go? Uh, oh, we were talking about it. Go ahead, Sky. Yeah, let's let's go see the poppies. Ah, ah, poppies. Awesome. Cool. All right, go ahead and play your music. I'm gonna describe the music functions. Like I was saying before, the PMA 450B has Bluetooth streams, but it actually has two. Right now, I'm using one Bluetooth stream to record the audio of this conversation on an iPad Mini wirelessly, which is super mm, cool. Altitude. And uh, Goomba over here is gonna connect to the airplane um, on the other Bluetooth stream, and I'm gonna patch her music and over there. So I right, just go over here to entertainment, music distribution, she's the co-pilot. So I press it again and she's gonna be um, Bluetooth one right there, BT1. So she's gonna be listening to Bluetooth one. And we have two wired music inputs in the plane, one behind the iPad here uh, along with power and the other one in the rear in between the seats. Go ahead and play your music and I'm gonna patch them in, okay. entertainment, music distribution, passengers, that's going to be music too. So for the pilot station, the iPad is patched in to the uh, hardwired input here. So I go to entertainment, music distribution, pilot's going to get music one. And I can go over here to iTunes and I can play my song. So I've got three separate audio recorders going, one for the pilot, one for the co-pilot, one for the passengers. This is what I'm listening to right now. Check in to see what everybody else is listening to. One other cool thing about the music distribution is here under the entertainment menu, music volumes. Each uh, station, the pilot, co-pilot, and passenger can have a separate volume. Okay, to go along with the music, there's um, another cool thing, which is the music mute modes. 
you go in here to entertainment to music mute modes, and I'm going to do it for the uh, co-pilot for what Goomba's listening to. We're going to change the mute to uh, all, so when the intercom comes on, then her music is going to get muted. And we, you can set that to radio, or you can set that to all, which is the intercom and the radio. So like, it's really useful for the pilot if you are listening to music, and then it'll automatically mute the music and then fade it back in if there's a radio transmission or an intercom. You can see that it's configurable for every station, the pilot, the co-pilot, and the passenger. Separate choices for the music mute modes. Yeah, we're all listening to something different. Super awesome on long trips. Everybody can have their own music uh, or like patch a movie on their iPad through the audio panel. It's really great. All right, I'm going to demonstrate the uh, intercom modes for you guys. Right now, we're in the intercom mode all. And you guys can hear me back there, right? That's right. And yeah. then I'm going to put a radio frequency on. This is just a local ATIS, and everybody can hear this radio frequency. At two two right? visibility yeah. one zero. All right, so if we go into radio ICS more, we can change the intercom to alternate. Now, you're listening to the pilot right now. This is what the pilot hears. I hear the radio and the intercom. The alternate mode, the co-pilot is going to hear the radio uh, and the intercom, and the uh, passengers back there are going to hear just the intercom. They can't hear the radio transmission. So that's really awesome on long trips when uh, you're doing radio work and you still want to be able to talk to the family, but you don't want them to have to endure ATC the whole time. Now, there's one other thing we could do, which is um, in the intercom, is put it into co-pilot as passenger. Now, when I'm in co-pilot as passenger, I'm the only one that can hear the radio transmissions, uh, and the co-pilot is treated like a passenger. She can't hear the radio transmissions, and the passengers in the back can't hear the radio transmissions. Definitely what we prefer when we do trips. It lets me listen to the radios, but still interact with my family, which makes the trip super fun. We can chat, um, and I, they don't have to be bothered with the radios, and everybody can listen to their own music. So it's like totally customizable uh, as far as like the music distribution, the music mute modes, and the intercom. It's super awesome. There's a couple other really cool intercom modes. One of them is the pilot isolate mode. I like to use it when things get really hectic. People are trying to chat. I just need to concentrate. I press the ICS button. The green light moves over to ISO and the pilot, only the pilot can hear the radios and the pilot will not hear any of the intercom. So it's great on those instrument approaches or just like when things get really hectic with ATC, it's immediately you can lock everybody out. The last intercom mode I want to demonstrate is the crew mode. And this is good when you just want to talk privately on the crew here with the co-pilot. I'm going to switch into that mode now. Hey Goomba, you got that uh, practical joke ready for when we get home? Sure thing. Awesome. Maybe, maybe I think we'll just like cut to it right now in the video and everybody can see the practical joke that these guys have no idea that we had planned and set up and they can't hear us right now. You guys can go ahead and um, listen to music and jam out if you want as we uh, do a little sightseeing. I'm watching the storm, looking for the right words to say. We had a great time listening to music, chatting with each other, and checking out the flowers from the air. It's amazing with the yellow mixed in and every once in a while a bit of purple and blue. How can I express the love that I have for you? How can I explain I see the beauty in everything you do? We even visited the poppy reserve on the ground later. I see the beauty in everything you say. But there's a couple more features of the 450B I want you to know about, along with some final thoughts. 450B also records the last eight radio communications, and you can play them back by holding down the button here. Number one, Bravo Whiskey, Spug 0267, Westbound Transition Approved, Van Nuys Altimeter 3003. Pretty handy if you think you missed an ATC communication. Another feature the audio panel has is marker beacon functionality. You just press the uh, MKR button here, and uh, this is what the marker beacon sounds like. All right, so let's check out this feature again, where I disconnect the autopilot with the control wheel steering button. I hear R2-D2. The feature that's creating these alerts is called FlightMate, and you can hook up up to four different inputs to the audio panel, different devices like an engine monitor or an autopilot and the audio panel will play back either their default alerts or you can actually record your own custom alerts. It'll play them back like repeatedly until you press acknowledge or you can have your installer set it to just play it back once. Pretty great, it makes uh, flying a little bit more fun.
Well, I think I covered most of my favorite features of the PMA450B, and here are a few final thoughts. A couple things that I don't like. When you're in the intercom mode of alternate or CPX and you receive a radio transmission, the intercom from your passengers cuts out. You can only hear the radio. If I wanted this, I would just press the ISO button. So I would still like to hear the intercom from the passengers and the crew when I receive a radio transmission in this intercom mode. Another thing I really don't like is that you have to long press on the line select keys to go back in the menu. A lot of times when we're going back in the menu, you want it to happen really fast. So I'd like to see a dedicated back button. The last thing I'm not too fond of is the playback interface for the cockpit voice recorder. In order to play back the messages, you have to push and hold the comm receive button. To step back another message, you have to let go and push and hold it for a while again, then it'll step back. When you get a new message, it gets interrupted, then you have to push and hold it again. It just gets confusing. I think that navigation could be really improved with like a dedicated button or something that's a little more responsive. Okay, here's some things that I really do like about the 450B. First of all, the customization of the intercom modes and the music distribution modes is amazing. This is the only audio panel I found that would do this level of customization in this amount of detail. So it was the only audio panel that I really wanted to put in this airplane. My family has been really enjoying flying with this audio panel. It's made the trips a lot more comfortable and a lot more fun. On top of that, it's all really easy to use because of the screen. There's not a confusing series of flashing lights and button presses. I think this is one big advantage that the 450B has over other audio panels on the market. A bunch of other stuff I love. Sound quality is great. Intelli Audio, dimensional audio is absolutely remarkable. Support for multiple Bluetooth connections. The ability to send Bluetooth out and record it on a device to make YouTube videos. That's awesome. There's so many more features that I wasn't able to cover like speaker mode, public address mode, and flight timers. And finally, the company PS Engineering really has a reputation for great customer service. The founder and CEO, Mark Scheuer, is really active on aviation forums. When I was researching the audio panel, I posted a bunch of questions on a forum and he saw it, personally contacted me. We had a long phone conversation about all the capabilities and modes of the audio panel. It was amazing. Since that time, I found out that the company started in a home basement and it seems to me like they've really never forgot their humble beginnings. Just a note that the Poppy Sightseeing song was called Beauty and was created by Samuel Escher, who's a fan of this channel and is just starting his flight training. I've really been enjoying the community aspect of this YouTube channel and want to thank all the subscribers and members over at Patreon. I'm putting up a lot more content over at Patreon, including full uh, IFR, IMC flights, a bunch of behind the scenes stuff making these videos, and some stuff that ends up on the cutting room floor. So come on over there and check it out. If you want to connect, you can find me over at Patreon or on Instagram at SoCalFlyingMonkey. You found this video useful? Consider clicking like and subscribing. Until next time, thanks for coming along on the journey with us. Even sitting on the porch in the rain.